Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are doing amazing today. Um, I'm bringing you guys a really cool video today. This is a YouTube starter pack. I think I might have done one of these in the past. If I did, this is a new version of it. And if I haven't, here you go. So this is a good starter pack with a logo, a banner, and an outro screen. And these are super customizable. You can change everything about them. I'll have all the links to these down in the description below. And I'm going to show you guys how you can edit these your liking, you can change the color, the text, whatever you want. So without further ado, let's get started. So let's start out with the banner. First off, you got the name here and say you want to change it. Just double click on the name and type in your name. Super easy to do. Hit that check mark and just recenter it. There you go. Now you got your name on here. Now let's say uh, like yellow isn't your favorite color, right? Let's just say uh, like red or something is. Here's how you're gonna change the color of this. So it says change color here. You just wanna click on this tiny little box over here on the left, just double click on it. And all you wanna do is adjust the hue slider. So you can see now it's orange, now it's purple, blue, and you can just see you can change the color of it. So this way you can do it super easily, but there might be some issues like you can't see the details in the back or it's kind of hard to read. So if that happens to you, I'll show you how to manually change that right now. So there's two ways you can do it. If you're lazy, just change the color here, but it might not look as good as it can. So to manually change it, what you want to do is just go through all these layers. So let's start out with the name. Double click on the name and you'll be brought to this window here. Go to gradient overlay, click on this little gradient box. Double click on whatever box you want. So let's say the darker one and let's say you want this to be red. So we're going to go with the bright red. And for this one, we're going to go with the red as well. But this one should be darker than this one right here to give it that cool look. So you can see here if we uh, make it like that it has a cool little effect to it. And for the drop shadow, make it a dark red as well. So let's do it like that. So you can already see it's looking a lot better when you do it manually but it's a little bit more work. Now click on light spots and change the color overlay to whatever color you're going with. So mine's red. So I'm going to go with red. Hit OK. For the white light, you can leave that. For the background, click on it, go to color overlay and change it to red. And you can see here, it looks a lot better when you do it manually than when you do it like that. But if you want to do it that way, go ahead. I'm not stopping you. It's there for a reason. So that's how you change it manually and that goes for all of these so let's do it here as well so double click on it change it to a c because can bit move it to the center like that we can use this little hue box if we want but it might have some issues so we'll hide that let me put that back the way it was and go through change the colors of them like we did the last one and you're good to go now let's go to the last one, which is the outro screen. So this, same thing for this applies, um, but this one works a lot better with this hue slider compared to the other ones. So you can see here, it looks really cool in blue, red, purple. So it works really good with the hue and saturation. The only one is green. Green's kind of hard to see, but you can go through all these, change them manually. You'll have to start out with the circle, change the gradient, Go to the squares, change those. And for the text, just double click on it if you want to change it. You could put last video, uh, new video, I don't know, whatever you want to put, you can do it. If you want to remove this down here, just hide these layers. Or if you want to remove anything, you can hide it. So say you don't want your profile picture there. There you go. You can move these closer together. Whatever you want to do, it's super customizable. And it's a simple, clean design. That's why I really like it. And so I hope you guys like it as well. Uh, I did this for you guys because I know a lot of you guys are new YouTubers and I want to give you a little head start on it with some cool designs that are pretty cool. I just said cool twice, but whatever. You get the point. Um, but yeah, that's all you got to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Links down in the description if you want to get access to any of these. Feel free to use them. And um, that's all I got for you guys today. So have a good one, guys. Peace.